Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome morning. Me, I'm doing good, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some news for you and our first topic of the video, actress Remy Trene shares her experience with vaccine side effects. Veteran actress Remy Trene has shared that she hopes that the second dose of COVID-19 vaccine will be kinder to her body after revealing that it was a bumpy and painful roller coaster ride after her first dose. Now the actress joined many people on the Twitter timeline to share her experiences with the vaccine in hopes of giving people a realistic picture of how the vaccine affects people differently. Which is a point I also want to stress upon that just because she or those other people that shared their experience experience those experience, it doesn't mean that you will necessarily have a similar side effect. But anyways, all of this actually started when a Twitter user wrote, people who have gotten vaccinated, please share your experience so we can retweet aggressively. The narrative of unconfirmed, disproportionate horror stories is flooding the socials and it's causing a lot of hesitancy. And I will say this personally, I've heard about it, not just on social media but you know out in the real world talking to people people are talking about hey you know what we are scared very hesitant to register ourselves to go and get vaccinated but yes, like the user has asked there is for people to come through with their stories and one person that did come through with her story is Rami Trene. Now she replied to that and wrote, long story short, I almost died. I had all the symptoms, losing my mind, called at Dr. Love uh, Lee at 1am, but it's all well. Looking forward to a drama free second jab. Now Rami further explained that and said first four to five days were hell, then it got better. 26 days later, I still have some symptoms, numbness in my arm, fatigue, headache, etc. Please, I'm not discouraging anyone to vaccinate. I know that had I gotten COVID, I wouldn't have survived. No ways. So that is Remy Trenner's experience with COVID as she replied to that user. Now, according to the report, you know, it's been re reported that the vaccines contain different components to make them effective and each component adds a potential risk of an adverse event. Now, according to the National Institute for Communicable Disease, NICD, an adverse event is any harmful health event that happens after a person receives a vaccine. Now, apparently, potential adverse events after receiving a COVID-19 vaccine include a stroke, a heart attack, or death in a motor vehicle accident. Yeah, nah. It's rough, but you know what? Getting back to social media and taking a look at some of the other replies, you know, on social media. One user wrote, I got jabbed in July. I had no side effects besides a sore arm for a day or so. Because I love drama, I am dramatic. I was very underwhelmed that I didn't have side effects. I wanted drama with a crying emoji. So that is one person's experience who didn't really experience any side effect, you know, besides a sore arm. Another user wrote, got the J&J &J vaccine in March. I had a very mild headache the next day and that was it. Been fine. So another story right there where a person didn't really get any, you know, adverse side effects. Another user wrote, first shot, I was down a day. Week later, got this bump around the shot area. I'm assuming he's talking about this bump. And then lasted one or two weeks. Now the second shot, holy hell, was down a week fully down two days and my arm blew up like the photo with the bandage so this photo right here all that said i'll be first in line for our third shot so here's a user who kind of got in a swollen arm but he's saying that if there is a third shot to you definitely be first in line so definitely do feel free to reply in the comment section if you have gotten vaccinated and have any experience that you want to share with people here on real live now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Destruction Boys are back in studio. Last year's split of the award-winning GOM group Destruction Boys did shock a lot of music fans, but in a welcome twist of events, the duo have announced their reunion. Gold Max and Q said that they are recording an album in studio. Now, although the two went their separate ways and released solo projects, Q insisted to the papers that they never split up. This is what he is quoted as saying, we were just giving each other the opportunity to build brands as individuals. That was not a split. Another thing is we realize we need each other and our fans love us as a group. That is why we thought it was time to reunite and do what we are known for. 
Now, Goldmax said that their individual projects were successful, but they missed each other as a group. This is what he is quoted as saying. We have different personalities, but what is interesting is that our personalities combined make for good music. We are happy we are back together as a group. Gorm fans can expect fireworks. It's a fact. Where there's destruction, boys, there's a possible hit. Look at the rate that the Amapiano genre has kind of taken over. Personally, I welcome a Gorm hit, you know, perhaps, you know, Gorm and uh, Amapiano going head to head. And just for control, I mean, in the comment section down below, let me know which genre do you prefer? Do you prefer the Amapiano sound or do you prefer Gorm? Heck, you could be on the fence, you know, and prefer both. Our next topic, Ama Piano star Lady Do announces time out after passing out on stage. Look, I've been getting a lot of comments. People be like, who is Lady Do? Well, Lady Do has kind of popped up on the scene, you know, after she announced the passing of the Ama Piano guys that passed away in that accident. She also followed that up with the Instagram live in which she cries and explains herself a little bit after that. And this time, Lady Do has actually taken to social media, candidly opening up about her feelings about the death of her friends Mbura as well as Kilakao. Now Lady Do actually took to social media to reveal that she had passed out during a performance and decided to take some time off. Now she posted the following on Twitter to the fans that saw me pass out last night I apologize I tried so hard to be strong I tried to keep it together I thought I'd be able to handle that last gig but I broke down I don't know how I'll ever perform Sibin's way to. I'm taking some time off thank you. Like I said, I've actually read a couple of comments, you know, people talking about Lady Do here on Red Live. Now, some people will say that she might be looking for attention, but I'd say that, you know, it does seem that she is genuinely inconsolable. And at the end of the day, I believe that people grieve differently, you know. Perhaps Lady Do is a griever who grieves in this manner. Some people just kind of keep it inside. But nonetheless, definitely wish that she does get all the counsel as well as support that she needs. Our next topic, Ama Piano Awards are raising funds from Pura as well as Kilakao's funeral. The non-profit organization Amapiano Awards is working towards starting an initiative to support Amapiano artists after a tragic car crash that took the lives of the young musicians. Now, in a statement that was shared to the papers, the organization said that it was in communication with companies to assist them with raising funds that will ensure that Kilakao, Mbura, and other artists in the future will receive funeral cover, disability benefits, as well as travel insurance when they're commuting to their gigs. The organization is quoted as saying, In paying tribute to the two heroes, Kilakao and Mbura, that have contributed immensely within the entertainment industry as part of our efforts to promote and preserve the rich legacy that they crafted, Ama Piano Awards are in conversations with funeral services companies to create a facility that will assist in ensuring that our artists receive funeral cover and disability benefits. Now, talking to the papers, the founder and director of the awards said that that families of the artists also deserve to be free of financial burden when their loved ones die doing what they love. The founder said the following, it's about financial planning for the entertainers. We are trying to raise funds as much as we can so that we can make sure that in future unfortunate circumstances like this, we'll give these families time to mourn and not worry about the financial burden. Artists go to places and try to do gigs and then they are fatigued. We give international celebrities so much leeway but our South African artists we treat with no leeway and dignity. I do hear what the founder of the awards is actually saying but for me personally I also think that it's also about management. I mean instead of booking yourself every hour on the hour for a day how about you make yourself you know get yourself two bookings for an evening. Not have bookings back to back and then you have to be on the road after you perform. But anyways I think that is actually a conversation for another day. But getting back to the actual topic at hand, personally, I think it is a great initiative what the Ama Piano Awards are trying to do. Our next topic, Ricky Rick shares video of Mpura's sentiments about his legacy. As South Africa continues to mourn the passing of the Ama Piano artist, rapper Ricky Rick has been sharing some tributes to them on his social media. Now, taking to Instagram, Ricky Rick posted an old video of Mbura. Now, Ricky Rick interviewed the Ama Piano star for the Remy Martin essay, and it was in that chat that Mbura made a comment about what he wanted his legacy to be. So, let us take a listen to that real quick. It's not safe, if so. I'm mm. always in the streets. But I pray with uh, whoever is threatening, whatever that is going on. Nah, these things are shiala. 
I'm grateful for everything that is going on now. Like, I'm, I'm, Mbonga, Mr. Chesit Nye. I wouldn't be here. I thank God for creating someone of Arana, Mr. Chesik, I'm letting be learned. I'm just having fun. I just need people to understand Lendole. I'm not here for the day, but I want to with missing people should feel good to usase mm. Which is why I need Jelanjal. Need to wake up and drink the coffee. Stop smelling it. Yeah. So there you have heard it from Bura himself. Now in that interview, Ricky Rick also revealed that he was friends with Mbura on a personal level and he watched him grow in the entertainment industry. And right now, as you can imagine, the social media platforms are filled with RIP messages as well as people reminiscing on the great music that the Amapiano artists have released. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.